Oh, we asked for your questions. I didn't know that was such a hot take. How do your parents describe what you do? Uh, who's top, who's bottom? <laughs> we signed a lot of NDAs. Most exciting thing to look forward to next season. Oh. All right. Welcome. Welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Season finale. Whoop, the whoop, end of whoop. this season. Which, end of that. Which yes. has been what, what, a, what a wonderful one. What a, yeah, well, very wonderful. It's just kind of been us doing what we do. Yeah. If we, if we've, had a, we have, we've had a guest here and there, but uh, we have a new set. True. It, it's been what, what, a, what, a, what a time. Not our usual 50 episode season. That's also true. F- 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 44. 44. Four, yeah, it's one nine four. Forty four. Forty four. Um, but we got some special things, and we'll kind of talk about that after, probably. Yeah, or like I feel like there's some questions in here that kind of. Oh, we asked for your questions, obviously. And yeah, we've we actually been at, got a bunch more than I anticipated, which is absolutely. We've been being which is cool. asked for to do a Q and A, so we're doing a Q and A. Let's see what you what you want to know about us. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Our questions in the picnic basket. All right. Wow, starting off, I didn't expect this one right off the bat, honestly. It's <laughs> All right, starting off strong. How do your parents describe what you do? Um, you go first. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there it is. I'll go first. So, my mom to her friends says that my son is trying to be a YouTuber. Uh-huh. And that is the grossest way to say it <laughs> to 48-year-old women uh-huh. who are judgmental in a school. Yeah. My mom yeah. just gets looks like I am the scum of the earth mm-hmm. and the worst thing imaginable. My mom supports very much though. The way she describes it, I would say I would say like a social media producer or a social media brand uh-huh. exec or uh-huh. something like that you know make it sound a, a lot uh throw a title on it throw a title you know? on it yeah. yeah not just say trying to be a youtuber because that yeah. sounds yucky very um, yucky yeah i think my mom just says like he's doing he's he's, he's doing he has a podcast yeah he's yeah. like doing a podcast and he makes videos on youtube i don't think she i don't even think my mom is familiar with like the the word like the uh, youtuber like I, I don't think she i don't think she would ever say that i don't even think that's what i'm like we're trying to do really like yeah like we're on youtube yes but that's not it's it's terrible description is what i'm saying especially to older women well if any parents are watching i i the best one i think i found is just say social media marketing social media marketing Ugh, that because, because 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 that's like a fancy adult job that people will be like oh wow well even though it means nothing and, and <laughs> it my, means nothing at all and my dad uh, describes what I do by Loser. by yeah, <laughs> by not describing it to anybody and burying me as a child no, uh, yeah. until recently, where he finally, because of news that came out recently about what's going to happen, he kind of speaks about it to his friends. Well, that's good. That's a step. Um, yeah, no, I I I, I think I think they just lay it out on the table. Say so the trying to be trying to be a podcast. Yeah, a yeah, podcaster. And then, you know, somebody will be like, like Joe Rogan? And they'll be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, and, then like my Joe mom, Rogan. and then my mom would have been like, I don't know who that is, but I'll say yes. Really? Even my parents know who Joe Rogan My is. dad knows who it is. All right. Next. I like that you wrote these down. I like that you didn't. Uh, other, what are you talking about? <laughs> other, other than this, what was a favorite job you had? I talk about it a lot. I liked uh, my pizza delivery job. Just because I feel like that kind of shaped my 17, 18-year-old personality. So I was surrounded by a lot of people way worse than me that I didn't want to be. Huh. That's an interesting way to define a job you like. I also had that job, and I that was not I didn't like it very much. Oh, I mean, yeah, but it was my It was easy. Job. Yeah, that's what Good I like. pay. That's really what I liked about it. Uh, before I came here, I worked at a startup uh, in San Francisco and then St. Louis, and I liked that job a lot. Um, so that's that. Love you. That yeah, that was the be- the best job I've had by long mile. By a long mile before this. If your worst enemy wrote a book about you, mm-hmm. what would the title be? Oh, this is a good one. Uh, if your worst enemy wrote a book, um, probably something along the lines of like, how does he keep outsmarting me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, why is he so much cooler, better, and smarter looking than I am? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's what the guy would. That's write. what it would be called. Yeah. 
uh, where it'd be called. How does he keep getting away with this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah, no. What, what is? Do you have any actual serious answer for this? I don't know. I, I, the fact that I, I don't think I have enemies like that that would write a book. It says if. First it of all, if. that's a very, like, I feel like that's a very um, high intellect battle if you're writing books about each other. Yeah. Like, we're like presidents or something. Yeah, I'll get him. I'll spend two years of my life writing, editing, and producing a book. Yeah, and if you're in such an intellectual battle, then the title is going to be, like, something super intellectual. That I wouldn't even get. If yeah. this man's writing a book about me, the title, I wouldn't even know it's about me if I read the whole thing. Like Fire and Fury or something. Yeah, it's you know, like, something strange. Or just this guy sucks, a book for dummies. Who stays in The Bachelor forever? Uh, who's. Oh, who's. Who's. Gonna- Who's who's staying? Uh, you, Jesus, you did not write these correctly. Who, no, I didn't. I was who, doing f- who's, few. Who's yeah. staying a bachelor forever? The plan was because I was speeding. It's like few word do trick. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, who's staying a bachelor forever? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think any of us really. Yeah, probably not. I mean, I think I feel like we all want kids eventually. I guess you could still. We're definitely later. I feel like a lot of us are later people. Like we're like, like we're like we want to get married later. In yeah. Life. Yeah, we're not. I think it's just trying to do what we want to do. I feel like because even JT, his goals are kind of <laughs> aligning <laughs> with like shifting yeah. over like very significantly with ours, and just the plan kind of doesn't fit that stuff. Yeah, and if you have fucking little children, that it, it's hard to do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Also, and you know, we make like a um, like a picky, picky kids podcast, and we'll just throw a mic in front of all our toddlers. I mean. You know for a fact, if we have kids together, we're doing like a picky boys Tory review and milking those kids oh, every cent they get. Kids, they can get uh, us. Those th- that those that little boy utter is gonna be milked. Next. <laughs> you didn't like that. Why? <laughs> why? Why? I couldn't say little girl utter. That sounded worse. You could. You can't say either. <laughs> I mean, you said milk them. You said milk them. Will you have Fang on? What the fuck? Fans. Oh, <laughs> who the fuck is Fang? Yeah, like, you, who is Fang? You have the, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I didn't. I didn't. The plan will was you for have, you to read them. Will you have fans on? Um, we've had fans on. I feel like that turned into guests and yeah. turned into friends and stuff. Yeah, I feel like we've had. I mean, but, uh, yeah, we've. I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess so. But there, reco- there comes a point where, if you let one fan on. I say you we, lose fans because now this fan wants to be on. No, I say I say you have fans on. You just this. I I think we should. I think we would have fans on. I don't disagree. I'm just saying it's kind of this weird uh ball on a point, you know. And it's like if yeah. it, you flick it that way, oh there it goes. Flick it this way. Like we'd have probably have somebody on for a specific reason, and if they happen to be a fan, then that would just Overwatch. Over, yeah. Overlap. Yeah, that would yeah. be the Venn diagram. The middle of the Venn diagram. Yeah, that little uh, this this the little thing. Z- 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 that thing. Yes, this thing. So I think the answer is yes, probably. Absolutely. Yes, probably, maybe not. You can read one now. Yay. Because of your horrible handwriting. Well, I was doing Hieroglyphics. Good. Most likely to have a piercing they never talked about. I feel like you. Really? Why? Where do you think I have a piercing? Oh, well, if you're not talking about it and we don't you know it. You have a sack piercing? Right on, right on your sack. Like a, like a bull ring for your sack, not your penis. I um, mean... And uh, anybody who would dare get a Prince Albert piercing is braver than I. Does it hurt? You think? Are you fucking insane? Of course it hurts. So what? What is that? They're driving a metal rod through the tip of your penis. Do you have to take it off when you when you do the boom boom? No. No, you don't. No. It could go in the yeah. the the, 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 the hoo hoo. And it hits and, and it, it hits it, different. It hits, it hits different. I've heard. I still say Danny, cause I not me. So. Maybe JT, honestly. Maybe JT. JT, I could see having a t- like a toe piercing. Does that make sense? I was thinking nipple piercings. Nipples? I f- how could his shirts are so tight? He would talk. He, we would. He would talk about it, or someone would talk about it for. I him. think he has a sneaky nipple piercing. Sneaky nip. All right. Maybe JT then. Uh, no, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I don't think any of us have piercings or have the yeah. urge or desire to get piercings. Yeah, I never. I've never understood the nipple piercings on guys. Never got it. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I mean, people do it, but I've never gotten it. Yeah. I got like a, I guess like a, like my ear pierced for like a video. Yeah, it's funny. Also, the girls and the guys who have the super gauge, 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 yeah. I I don't get that either. 
That is just, and then and then you take it out, and your ear looks like a fucking eighty-five year old man's ball sack, and it goes. <laughs> you like you could do um you could do a uh, remote airplanes through it, like hoops or Quidditch. Yeah, if you're gonna commit something like that, you just gotta commit for your life. Like you gotta commit for to that look forever. You can never take them out. Yeah, those I don't get either. Um, so I guess the answer is uh, probably JT nipple piercing and um. Most likely none of us. Yeah, I mean, most likely. I mean, I don't think, unless that's the whole point, you know, one was I'm hiding sniffling it. sniffling today. Um, did you go to college? College is for losers. No, Idiots. <laughs> Antonio went to college. Yeah, I finished. Uh, finished early, actually, too. I went to MIT. I went to Baruch in the, in the <laughs> I went to Baruch in the city. Yeah. Is that a Cooney or a Sooney? It, it's, it's in Massachusetts. So it's a Mooney. Mooney. It's a I, Mooney. I didn't know. Yeah, Jesus. They didn't teach you that in Baruch. Oh, no. They didn't teach me anything. Uh, no. I went to MIT, and uh, but I dropped out after a year. Kind of like a Zuckerberg situation. Yeah, that's the same, same, same trajectory, I think. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, yep. Went finance degree half point four percent using it. Uh, now, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still doing stonks, though. Stonks. If you can choose anything to do for a day, what would it be? I still the classic. I want to be a, wo- a girl. I want to be a girl for a day. I want a vag. Anything to do for a day? Yeah, I want a vag. Just for a day. Okay. And some, I mean, I, I would kind of have um, Maybe I'd go to space for a day. That's good. But I don't, I don't want to be on one of these fucking Bezos rockets. I just want to be in space. Like like floating? With a suit on? Floating with a suit on of one day's worth of oxygen. It's like, <laughs> so you're really like counting down the seconds? Well, I hope that teleporter, this magic for a day no, thing no, brings I know me it's, back. I know it's going to work. I, I was just teleported to space. I think kind of, I'm, I, I, I could say with a reasonable, you know, the f- reasonable I mean, shadow uh, of a doubt. Shadow of a doubt. That's the, what is it? What is, <laughs> I don't with, know. No, it's, I should say without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. I'd probably be magically teleported back. If I was magically teleported to space with a one day spacesuit, yeah, but then a one day, wanna, a one I day, I just want to kind of float around. I don't think it's like swimming. It is. You def- won't be able to move. What? You can definitely move in space. I mean, you can move. I don't think you can swim through the water of space. You just, you just dangle there. I thought you like. I mean, I think you're just gonna float. I thought you. I thought you like. I mean, swim. No, because everything you do, right? Physics now. Everything you do, you do equal. Okay. Four song. Reverse, reverse. We have a question for you. Yeah. Can you swim in space? Boom. Answer that one. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He'll say no. Have you been to Calgary? Is that the cemetery? Excuse me? I think that's a place in Canada. Oh. There's a... Oh, no. There's a... There's, there's a... There's a... <laughs> that, is that the cemetery? <laughs> that, 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 is, that is a place in... That is a place in Canada, but there's there's a in our like in, in Queens, there's a cemetery named that. I think. Why? Is that or is a, it Calvary? It's definitely. I don't think it's either now. Well, uh, have you? Uh, no, I only I, I I've, I've only been to Canada once. I've and been it was like the other side of Niagara Falls, very or or yeah yeah. I've been to Montreal for. We turned eighteen. Went on a nice. Um, uh, what's it called? Drinking, you know, drinking's eighteen. There, mm-hmm. drinking, drugs, sex, parties. It was all right. New Year's. Most likely to get a drunk tattoo. Danny. Probably me, even though I have no tattoos. Danny. JT has tattoos, so maybe that's. Yeah, it's, I mean, JT would be a, a. JT would probably no, but I feel like JT feels like he has meaningful tattoos. Like how you said, I, I think he feels like he has meaningful tattoos. Well, because he, because to him they are meaningful tattoos. So I, I don't think he would drunkenly just get a tattoo. I would. It's uh, the answer is absolutely me. I, I've, I've almost drunkenly got a tattoo uh, many times within the like within the past year. If we put Dan, if we got Danny drunk and put him in a tattoo parlor, he'd get a tattoo on his butthole. Aren't Aren't you not supposed to? I wouldn't get a tattoo on my ass. Aren't you supposed to? Aren't you supposed to get not get a tattoo when you're drunk though, because your blood's thinner and like it doesn't like it doesn't the ink settle doesn't or something? hold as well or something? That's what I heard. If you think I know any of these, or maybe that's just an effects. urban tattoo myth to stop people from to stop people from getting tattoos, they'll regret and not remember, which would be a good myth to perpetuate. I think I definitely. Side note: I think I definitely will get one, like on a nether on a region that's not visible, unless I go like, oh, hello. The, yeah, I guess so. 
Just, you know, for me. I what, are you getting tattooed for everybody else? I want to be. Loser? I Who gets be, tattoos for I other be people? tatted up. I uh, yeah, full sleeve. Not on like a nether, but you know, like a thigh, like you see it in the summer with bathing suit. You know, bathing suit's kind of higher, higher thigh area. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna get a tattoo, and one day I probably will get a tattoo drunk. I almost got a fifty dollar one. You just like pick from like, you know, ten little tiny ones. And it's random. No, you know, you just like pick. Although they do have those where you you put a like you put fifty dollars, you give them fifty dollars, and then you spin a gumball machine, and then whatever tattoo design pops out. That see, I that's just... a great story. No, it's not. You don't get it. <laughs> it's, a, it it's, a, it's a fantastic story. They also had something like that that I thought was cool, where like you pay 150 bucks and there's and and, and there's like a prolific, like like very hard to get a, an appointment with, and very expensive tattoo artist on the other side, and you just put your arm in a hole, and he just gives you a random tattoo. So you put your arm through a that glory is, hole. That is cool as fuck. I would totally do that because because then the tattoo doesn't need meaning. The experience of that is like, like you know, somebody says, "Oh, what is that?" You know, fucking whatever he gives you. What does that dove mean? Oh, actually, what happened is I shoved my arm through uh-huh. a plank of wood, uh-huh. and the guy on the other side just started sticking needles in me. That's the story. Yeah. Also, I, I think I'll bitch out of a tattoo, but that's why you have to be drunk. You think? I need to be on something. This one could be Advil. Well, this is a quick one. Who, when drunk, is least likely to remember the next day? Antonio. <laughs> no. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you. Definitely me. Danny. 100%. Um, and I'll take most un- likely to remember the next day. Undoubtedly. Danny, I forget a lot of the things I do. You could tell Danny's memory is fleeting while it's happening, like during the night. True. Iron Maiden or Metallica? Uh, I don't listen to a lot of music like this, but I like Metallica more. I don't listen to them either, but which one does Enter Sandman? Metallica. Also, that's the only thing I know. I don't listen to that kind of music. So uh, that I, I listen to every kind of music almost, except for like um, like like metal bands like that uh, and country music. I do not like country music. I I. I I like I, I'm okay with like Metallica and stuff like that. I actually like loathe country music. It's not good, actively. I, I don't mind country music. Not will, will never say I like it. But for me, I think it's like sh- like pure EDM, like just just noises. I hate mm. and uh, I guess like screamo or something. But I know I actually know people. I didn't even know I know people that like screamo. I know mm. pe- I know someone that does, wow. and I don't talk to them anymore. Because you know it's kind of indicative of what's going on. I like the I like the the no words EDM music. I hate I I, I, I hate it. I despise country music except for Mason Ramsey. Yeah, Mason Ramsey's a, y- a young, young god. Young god. Yeah. He's gonna be something special one day. He'll be, <laughs> or you know, he's, he's gonna be our he's gonna be our savior. Our our, our you know fucking he's a second our coming. Johnny Cash. Oh, that'd be so fucking cool. <laughs> All right, I got um, this quick one again. Who is the oldest? Who is the youngest? Tony is the oldest. I'm the oldest by an annoying amount of months. I am the youngest, and JT is like ten days older than me. Yeah, JT's the the middle child. Um, yeah, and then uh, Chaz is really the youngest in the entire group. Yeah, Chaz is September. Chaz is September, but we're, we're we're all like we're we're all born in the same year. It's just semantics. It's just which month, you know? Yeah. Like like nobody's like twenty seven and one's twenty four. Well, Martin's. 20, oh, that's true. Martin's twenty-two. Martin's, Martin's the baby. Mar- Martin's, deba- Martin's the, Martin's Martin's the, the baby. baby. Yeah. In age, not in character. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Uh, who's your favorite Cars character? Lightning McQueen. Lightning. That's so simp. Simpleton. That's so easy. Listen, Lightning Queen is fire. I, I don't. I don't know his name, so I don't know how I could say he's my favorite. But I like the the guy in the first one with the mustache that dies. Spoiler alert. Spo- spoiler alert. <laughs> you know, he's the one that teaches him to go right by going left. That guy. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, it is. It, it is a cheap answer, but it it's Lightning McQueen. Toe Mater might be the dumbest character narratively and conceptually that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I do not like Toe Mater. Or his teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's strange the car can have sex appeal, right? Next. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> people, Sorry, I, I, I didn't. Th- I didn't know that was such a hot take. People, 
<laughs> people think they're people bang they're non what what's the when you give a thing human characteristics? What's that word? Uh anthropomorphic Anthropomorphic? anthropomorphic? No, that's not right. Humanoid? Human That's definitely not right. All right, whatever. People have sex with their cars. I think a, a car that could talk back to me, I would rather have sex with, so I could see it. I'd fuck one of the Boston Dynamic robots, I swear to God. Those things have a strange sex appeal to me. Dude, you're going to tell me the Tesla bot isn't going to be for sex? That there's not going to be like a Tesla X, triple X? Tesla I'm gonna, robot triple X? I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, those Boston Dynamics robots, the way they parkour, it, it does something. It gives me butterflies. It, right, it, it makes your uh, hoo-ha tingle? Because, because as for, by the way, as soon as this, as soon as this all becomes the Tesla bot and all of this, these robots become, um, you know, whatever, like mainstream, people will start fucking them and falling in love with them. Oh, yeah, Undoubtedly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. already happened. There's going to be a coup of uh, love robots. No, that this this will be a new this will be a new wave and and you know, so far I think I'm in because those Boston Dynamics robots. Have you seen them dance? Yeah. They scare they, me. They're going to do They're going to have shows. It's going to be a beautiful first dance at our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to program the cha-cha slide. Yeah, me and the Boston Dynamics robot, not the dogs. You need a dog. That's the, you, now you got to no, complete the J, home. No, JT would fuck the robot dog. I would <laughs> I would I I would fuck the I would fuck the parkour the the parkour bot. JT JT's a dog blower. The Tesla bot could only hold forty five pounds because Musk boy made it so we can overpower Did I just him. Read that one or I don't know. I'm losing track. But my grandma can't overpower a Tesla robot. Undisputed best potato chip. What a brave question. So brave. Um. See, the problem is undisputed. Does that mean universally likes? I feel like that's sour cream and onion. No, I like think everybody mean, loves sour cream. It just mean in your head. But um, uh, barbecue flavored chips pretty good. Always good. The, 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 that bag always goes first. Barbecue, bruh. That bag. That oh, is your, you that, house that bag first all the time. Yeah, but but, uh, but that's because a lot of times it's the best option that's there. So what's the best? But chip? the best chip ever. What's the best chip? Uh, the best chip is probably. I swear to God. I swear to God. Um, oh no no the best chip is um, sour cream and cheddar. That chip is very good. That is the best chip. I'll concede to that chip. That chip is very good. Ridge, uh, ridges, sour cream and cheddar. Very good chip. Best chip. Best, best chip. chip. And 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 you you you, you can you don't find it everywhere either. Now you do. It's pretty much it's, everywhere now. It's it's gaining popularity because people are going wow sour cream and onion. What what have we been missing out thing on? Of sour the, cream thing and of cheddar. the past. Sour cream Honestly, and ridges, call me up. I can be part of your marketing and and I, I, idea team, your creative team. Because what if you did like a, a spicy sour cream and cheddar? Oh, that'd be so good. Spicy sour cream and like a sour cream and jack cheese or whatever. Or just a that spicy, is a good idea. spicy or yeah, spicy. Spicy chip. Spicy sour cream and cheddar. Also, I've been begging. I know they make them, but I can't find them. Cheeto hot flame and hot Cheetos puffs. They should be more places. Yeah, it's a little more niche. But they should definitely be but puffs is definitely better than the crunchy Cheetos. Yeah. So Best undisputed chip. Sour cream and cheddar. I'll change my answer. It's a good answer. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, sticking with the food. Pizza on pineapple. Oh. No. Oh. Pineapple on pizza. Sure. I will do it only if there's spice on it. Like a jalapeno bacon pineapple pizza, I'm on the island. It's fantastic. Very good. Um, if it's no no spice, no no pine. Yeah, no, I, 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 I think it works. It's, it wouldn't be my first choice. I'm not one of those people who's like, that's a sin. How dare you? How dare you put pineapple on pizza? Like, I'm not one of those people. Like, I think a lot of weird food combos can work well together. Um, but... But I, 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 I don't personally do it often. Yeah. I, I, I don't have like a problem with it because people have objections to it straight up. Like yeah. They're like, you can't do that. If, I, I swear to God, if you order that pizza, I'm going to fucking leave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it can be good. Fruit could be on pizza, in my opinion, way more than fish could be on pizza. A shrimp pizza nah, fish, sounds disgusting. Fish can be on pizza. Too. I don't understand a, a shrimp a shrimp pizza or a filet pizza. It's like, what, what's happening? I don't think fish... Not fish like that. Yeah, like shellfish. A crab oh, pizza. But what about like a Japanese pizza? 
Like a sushi pizza. A sushi pizza is not. There's no sauce and cheese. It's a. That a it's a scallion pancake that, and soy sauce and a and a sushi roll on it. That does not define pizza. That's that's what defines pizza in my eyes. That's not true. What about a Nutella pie? That's pizza. It's just for a dessert. Sure. It's a dessert. Yeah, it's it's a it's Nutella a, pie. It's a dessert. It's not a Nutella it's a, pizza pie. It's a dessert pizza. It's a Nutella pie. That's just bread and Nutella on it. It is, it is a dessert pizza. It is get, not. Get, it's, it's not. No, no, no. That's, that's what, they, that's what they do to sell it to people it's, like it's, you. It's, it makes pizza, it sound fancy. P -p pizza, is the, pizza is the category of food. It's like sandwich. It can be a bunch of different things, but it's it's still a sandwich. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's, know you, see, you, you said it's a dessert pie. Yeah, it's not a dessert pizza pie. Yes, it is. No, it's a dessert pie. You, you said dessert pie, actually. No. Roll back the tape. You said dessert pie. I said it's a dessert pizza. It's a scallion pancake that, and soy sauce and a, and a sushi roll on it. That does not define pizza. That's that's what because defines pizza in my eyes. That's not true. What about a Nutella pie? A Nutella pie. It's a dessert. Well, I probably said it, but you said it first. Oh. It's a, it, 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 it is a dessert pizza pie. For sure. Wrong. Absolutely right. Put it in the... Be, who is best singer? Me. Sure. I win. I hate singing. Hey, karaoke. Don't like oh, it. Oh, I love karaoke, dude. I, I'm a, I turn to a rock star karaoke. You oh don't have God. to be good. You don't have to be good at karaoke. That's not what I said. No, but you said you don't. You, you hate karaoke, but I'm saying you don't even like a lot of people. I feel like are afraid to go up to karaoke because well, the crowds, I guess. But besides that, it's like they think they're bad at singing. It's like you don't have to be good. Karaoke is horrible. I hate karaoke. <laughs> I hate. I even if if I'm a fly if I'm a fly on the wall and and I I know I won't have to. Go up and sing. I still hate karaoke because there's nothing to, in my eyes, there's truly nothing worse than people who start to sing and don't sing well and are just singing. I fucking hate it. I hate when people break into sing alongs. You know, just, I, I, stop singing. Danny can't leave, live in leave, a musical. leave the song to the people. Shut the fuck up. Stop singing. Sorry. Well, I don't know. I mean, Danny is a party pooper and doesn't know how to have fun, I guess. Like, you know, people who hate that much on it are karaoke bad Karaoke is at it. so cringe. It, that's it's true. It's so cringe in a bad way. I hate karaoke. Although there are some people who are good. If, if you're a good singer, then fucking go for it. Some, uh, my, the worst enemy um, signed me up for uh, karaoke once while I was at a bar and I didn't know. And they called my name and they got me up there. And then I rocked the house and got free shots and uh, I made him lose. Boom. If a friend signs my name up for karaoke, we just not go. Yeah, if, oh, I, I, I'm 100 percent not going, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm I'm not their friends. I'm I'm ending the friendship. And Fuck karaoke. We have a way out. Fuck karaoke. All right, my turn. Next question. I don't even want to <laughs> think about. Passionate. I don't even want to think about karaoke. Passionate. Most likely to be rich in 20 years. I would hope all of us. All of us. I would hope all of us. Yes. Now we're all doing the same thing, pretty rich, much. Rich in what? Rich in rich in, rich spirit. in spirit. Rich in spirit and uh, <laughs> goodwill and good intentions. I'm doubling it up on you. Doubling it up. Where's Johnny? God damn it, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely Johnny's question. Johnny's over at a ex. Oh, it's Johnny's birthday. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, today. Well, well uh, fil filming today. Well, last Friday was Johnny's birthday, so yeah, you know what? Go, go, go wish yeah. Johnny happy go birthday. Wish him, uh, go wish Johnny happy belated. Well, what is this Instagram? It's like Johnny Boy with the O's. Yeah, but it's underscores. Underscores. I feel like if, first of all, Johnny, if you're watching this, th there's your question. Also, change the ins No underscores. Everybody. No underscores. If you want to. No, that's a, that's a popular thing. I think it's, no, but like, no. No underscores. No, I, I think that's, I think it's a, I think it's a decent. Um, the only thing is when you type John, it doesn't come up. That's what. I, that's why it's very bad. So, so you. So that's the no, whole no, no, point. No, 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 no. But you, you, you put. So you put an underscore in boy if you need to. Um. So yeah, but he's 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 I don't know. He's there. Like a mile away. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's where. That's right, where he he's is. He's over there. <laughs> um. Now that JT's here, we do all live in a radi radial gradient. True. I learned that word. Should we do like a rapid fire series? Yeah, let's do rapid fire. Let's go. All right, I'll do four rapid fire questions. Oh shit! All right. So you, all right, so you want both of us to answer them, or you just answer them, and I just answer the other ones? Uh, sure. Okay. You, you didn't. You, I know that was uh, okay. Either way. Well, it depends uh, what they are. Okay. Right? Um, what does Antonio smell like? 
Well, you could answer that one, I guess. Um, oh, I know what I smell like. I smell like Head and Shoulders and the Dreamer from Amazon discontinued uh, cologne. The Dreamer. Yeah, it's called the Dreamer. What is what? What, what, what do you mean from Amazon? What? What like? Oh, I don't know. It's just discontinued. a brand. I, I don't remember. I got it for a gift once when I was tw- uh, eighteen. Funny, it smells like a some kind of Versace cologne. That's okay, kind of. This one's too long, but if you could create if you create a pro sports franchise, what would it be? Location and what do you do? Oh, that's a good one. It's uh, I I do um, ultimate frisbee. Oh, Jesus. And and I uh, I'd, I'd put it um in uh, Spokane, Washington. Uh, most exciting thing to loot to look forward to next season. Oh, well, that's probably the important question. Yeah, Actually, well, yeah, let's, yeah, let's uh, save that one for the end. Um. Okay, hold on. Uh, where did y'all meet? Uh, middle school. We were, we we all met. And then we met Chaz and JT in high school. Yeah. And they haven't left. Partially middle school, partially high school. All younger school, like in our school years. So fourteen. Yeah. Essentially, is the average uh, the number for everything. Yeah, basically that was the number where we all. Me and Danny, since we were Todd's, kind of. I have questions. Not here. at all. Not at all. But like what? Fourth grade. Who's a mama's boy? I'd say me. me. I'd say both of us. I'll Probably go. both of us. I'll go mama. Mama's boys. You like mamas. Absolutely. Mama's Danny boy. loves MILFs. Do you have any siblings? I have three. Two younger brothers and a younger sister. I am the oldest. Danny. No siblings. Only child. The only way to go. There it is. Thank you for that. Only childs create strong character. Strong character. All right. You got Danny. Quick. Oh. Uh, who has the longest weenus? To, I mean, isn't the weenus this part, by the way? No, but, it's this thing. Right? Oh. I'm pretty... I don't have very elastic skin. Do I? Antonio. Yeah, Antonio has a long... Really? Yeah. My, I, I can't see it right now, but... I don't think... We, I don't think anybody... I don't camera? think they can see it, but no, yeah. Uh, and I don't have very and stretchy skin. And if you're talking about the, the nether region, I mean, combined, we're all about five. They're, I don't think they are. You know, is, you know, that's a pretty specific. Well, maybe body they part. didn't want to write weenie. Is JT short for Jebediah Tiberton? Yes. Uh, uh, who's top? Who's bottom? <laughs> if you think you're top, you're fucking dead wrong. I, I am. I am a total power bottom. <laughs> Danny's <laughs> tossing no, it back. Yeah, I, I'm. The, I'm the power bottom because because you know I I still I'm still in the driver's seat, but not really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> if you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Wings for me. Uh, one meal. Just like a a a, a burger and waffle fries. Classic. With side chutney mayo. All right, you got questions? Uh, yeah, I do have questions. One person said, uh, "How big is it really?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, but my question, my questions come from an Instagram story um, where I also showing the Statue of Liberty. So maybe that's what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, but uh, Statue of Liberty, 140 feet or something. Statue of Liberty, uh, the copper is two pennies put together. Three. Oh, my God. Will you shut the fuck up? That's a question next. Oh, is, is it really? All right. Sorry. Uh, OK, next. Uh, make out with a covid positive Ariana Grande or your firstborn star. So your firstborn son has to be named Peener. Fuck. I guess I, I'll make out with Ariana Grande. I'm vaxxed. Yeah, I'm vaxxed. I'm, I'm ready make, for sex. I, I'm, I'll, I'll make out with Ariana Grande. Yeah, I'll kiss Ariana Grande right on the right on the hole. Yeah, we're, we're, we're both vaxxed. Yeah, whatever. And then I'll name my kid Peener. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll name my kid Peter. Ariana Grande's kid. Oh, did you hear I said that? Ariana. Oh, God. Ariana Grande? It, it works either way. I know. I just didn't like it. Um, if CPR was performed ass to mouth, would you drown or get human centipeded as TMZ watches? I don't know why TMZ is there. Yeah, TMZ. What, were, they, were they called beforehand? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why TMZ has been called to... to, to paparazzi my choking i guess yeah so so is it uh, is my ass getting eaten or am i eating an ass is that the question to, to save someone's life would you drown or get human yeah oh first of all if 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 that's what it was then that's what it is that's, you know? yeah i'm not I, I'd, nothing I'd, gets in the way of saving a life i yeah i'd rather be alive mostly than any of these things i'll save this person's life no matter the cost yeah, this one's a this one's uh I don't know uh, 
the question is give up your favorite food or give up your favorite person. I don't know who, what sick fuck would say give up your favorite person. I'd absolutely give up my favorite food. Yeah, I'll give up my favorite food. I mean, that's just that psychopathic. Means, that means that person would give up their favorite person <clears throat> and they're looking for justification to not. That's that. That's abs- that you're absolutely right. That's absolutely <laughs> what that means. Um, next, would you rather be wealthy with zero control of your bowel movements or poor and butt strong? By the way, love the phrasing of that question. Butt strong. Butt strong. <laughs> butt strong. I get it. Get that tattooed. Uh, I'd be fucking dude, absolutely put, just put diapers wealthy on me, with dude. zero control of my bowel movements. Put Can diapers. Put a me, fucking baby. colostomy bag on me and call it a day. Yeah, oh, man, I don't want a colostomy bag. Or are you saying you have to shit yourself? If that's the case, then fine. Sh- I'll, shit away. I'll just I'll just shit in the uh, in my uh, ivory tower. Yeah, I'll shit on top of my ivory tower all I'd, over my life. I'd rather shit myself in an ivory tower than be butt strong on the street any day and clench as hard as I can. Yeah. Have you ever seen a clitoris in real life? No, no. I've heard it was a myth. Yeah, I didn't. That's that's like saying Santa Claus exists. Come on. Mm-hmm. Um, how thick is the exterior of the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Danny's been talking. I was, Danny talked I was, about this for two. I hours. was at the Statue of Liberty the other day, and the Statue of Liberty has an Eiffel Tower inside. <laughs> the the man, the man stop? the man the man who created the Eiffel Tower. Uh, so Pierre Eiffel, whatever the fuck his name is, he cre- he created the internal structure of the Statue of Liberty, and it's this huge like scaffolding looking thing. Then her skin, she has skin, that's like the copper on the outside. How thick? How thick would you say that copper is? Leave your answers down below right now. You're absolutely wrong. <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 the thickness of two pennies. To one thirty third of an inch or some bullshit. Same as Danny. That uh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is shocking. That shocking. is shocking. That is shocking. I could punch a dent in it if I could get up to it. Yeah, I would say so. I could punch a dent in the statue. Of Liberty. That is that is so thin. It is very. Thin. It was shocking when he said that. Actually, it, 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 it was is shocking, shockingly, th- shockingly thin. I thought it was a f- an inch. One of our friends thought it was a foot because Danny slyly asked the question to all our friends. It, 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 nobody, no, nobody could have guessed. I was, I was, I was mind blown. Go see the Statue of Liberty. Go feel her thickness. Go feel her thinness. Um, let's see here. Where the fuck is my kiss? What the fuck does that? Mean? <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I, I guess, I, I guess we got. I, I, I guess. Uh, I don't. I don't know what that means. Where, where's my kiss? There's your kiss. <laughs> um, what's happening? What's happening? I don't think they want that kiss. I think there's. I, I think. I think they want a kiss from me. It was on my. It was on my thing. Go, 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 go do it. I'm not gonna go kiss the camera. That's not you're not kissing the camera, you're kissing the person that wants to kiss me. That's my kiss to you, to all my adoring fans. Half assed over there. Yep. That's all. One them? more. What is it? The, the question is most exciting thing to look forward to next season. Oh. That is very exciting. With new season comes new change. Which new with new season comes new change. Every season we try to do something new. We were changing the sets for a while. We were changing season, like seasons, like winter and fall. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like literal seasons for a while. Uh, then we did this. This this season was all, all about this new set, which we fucking love. Yeah, it's probably gonna be home. Uh, this 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 will be home for a while, and so the set is not changing behind us. Um, but but this season we we, we the the next season we are gonna, we're gonna start and we're gonna do we're gonna bring a, di- a little bit of a different schedule. And some new, um, you know, j- just just some some new stuff. Every season we bring innovation, yeah, baby. Innovation. Um, but it is going to be a two week break, and we're going to come back with with the beginning of season five. Jesus Christmas, you know, we're like almost Game of Thrones in it out here. Yeah, I I, I think we've eclipsed like you know a few show a few very good shows. Yeah, we've eclipsed them in seasons. Coming for um, Supernatural. We're coming for Supernatural. What, what what is that on season eighty three? It's uh, season ninety seven. No, it it finished at fifteen, so we just got to get to sixteen. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're on a road to fifteen seasons, but every season we're gonna change it up. This season five will start September Sunday, September fifth. So it's two weeks. It's a great time to go watch some clips, 
Go watch some uh, some of your previous episodes before. Share with your family and friends. And also, we'll be we'll be Twitch streaming much more often. Picky Boys Gaming. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of exciting we got things a, coming. Yeah, there's a gaming channel now. There's just more content coming out. There's more uh, collaborations coming more out. More collaborations coming out. There's more. There's 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 different types of content. I mean, it, it is uh, Pick, Picky Boys is going into it's the the, full twi- gear. Uh, the the Roaring Twenties of the Picky Boys podcast next season. Yeah, we're gonna take it. Uh, we're we're just gonna just go for it. It's very exciting, and it's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Uh yeah, I think that's all. That's all we can say right now. Yeah, that's definitely all we can say right now. Um, but and and, and you'll learn in succession different new things. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we signed a lot of NDAs. No, I I I don't know what to say. It's so it's I I don't want to leave them hanging. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like I don't know. It's like it's been right in front of them the whole time. Yeah. It's strange. I'm going back to MIT, guys. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. <laughs> You can find me at Danny is watching on Instagram, and you can also find me prepping furiously for the new season of the Pricky Boys podcast. Mm. Oh, get in there! And you can you can find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow Picky Boys podcast, Picky Boys Gaming. There's a new we have a new Picky Boys Gaming channel, as you'll see. Uh, where where we've been doing a lot of Twitch streams. Um, it's gonna be very fun. I think we could say this. We 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 we, we got a VR set up. So we are going to be streaming. They're going to be hilarious. Go subscribe to that channel. Uh, go subscribe to the Clips channel. And, you know, just do, just uh, don't miss us too much while we're gone. Yeah, and you got a nice two weeks to go rewatch the rest, all the seasons. Yeah, if, 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 you, if you don't watch all 194 episodes in succession, you're not going to understand the Yeah, you're not going to understand what the <laughs> first episode. So go watch 194 episodes and have a wonderful two weeks. Enjoy, guys. Thank you.